So today, I'm going to introduce you all to a family that came all the way to Dar es Salaam with only zero dollars. So stay tuned. What you seeing as giving them a the type of family? Oh, I think it just came out of nowhere. No, it's the product she make, it's the twisting that she do, it's the love that she do. I want to tell me is sucking your stomach. Sucking your stomach. Wow. <laughs> Lies, babe. On this part, suck it in. <laughs> you be the one worrying about your stomach. Go on, man. Ain't nobody worrying about your stomach. <laughs> What's wrong with his face? <laughs> Why his voice sound like that in videos? <laughs> Hey, there's a tribe here in Africa somewhere. The bigger your stomach. What's going on, world? Welcome back to T3 and Me. It's your man Tim Ford Jr. here. And of course, I got my beautiful wife behind the camera, but you know, sometimes she's always up. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's behind the camera helping, but you know, I'm here up front. I got my brother, Mr. Steven, and my sister, Mrs. Jamila. I want to give them a platform and opportunity to tell their story about how they came over here with literally zero dollars. And now they got a free house and they over here building parks for the local Tanzanians. So, Karibu to T3 and me, you guys. Thank y'all for, you know, coming on and sharing y'all's story, giving people insight. And man, tell us, <laughs> how was it stepping out on faith, hopping on the plane with zero dollars coming on the other side of the world? Well, first of all, Sante Sana, my brother, to you and your beautiful wife, Siobhan, you know, you guys' his family. And our favorite little man that everybody loves, T3, who's unfortunately <laughs> he's not here right now, you know, but, you know, he was our biggest fan once we got here, you know. I can read it. But uh, yeah, like our brother was telling y'all, the Most High told us, leave now, you know. It was funny, because we actually, if you remember, we did a consultation with you guys, and we told you, hey, we're coming in 2022. <laughs> and if I do recall, your response was, well, why are you calling me now? <laughs> Man. <laughs> but I, I understood his urgency, you know, as you guys are well aware of what's going on over there right now. But after that consultation, the Most High put it on my heart that I need you to leave now. And so I said, all right, Most High, I ain't got no money to go. So you said you are Jehovah Jireh, you are my provider. What do you want me to do? And he said, just trust me. So we applied for our passports prior to him telling us this, because like I said, we were planning to come next year and they told us eight to nine months for your passport so we were like okay cool so by the time we leave we should have our passports and then the most high said no i want you to leave now and i was like okay well you make a way next thing i know go to the mailbox a month later our passports are there <laughs> then i'm like all right most high we got our passports but we need these tickets so all of us Got stimulus checks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got stimulated. Everybody yes. did. Not everybody did what they should have done with that <laughs> stimulus check. Some people riding around with new rims on their car, but we got plane tickets. Yeah. All right. Um, and then after that, I remember the day that my wife and I got the tickets. And we were sitting there, and I told my wife, I said, babe, hit the button with me. Because when we hit it, we kind of sat back like, you told me y'all were confirming the tickets on confirming the Confirming the tickets, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, was like, yeah. babe, we're going to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was that? How was that? That feeling. was the most amazing feeling and scary feeling at the same time because you're leaving everything you know, everything that you've been raised around, 
you know, I know we shouldn't have been eating these things, but you know, you're leaving the, the fast food that you was used to, you know, Popeyes, yeah. McDonald's, all those things, everything that you know, Walmart, Target, all those things, to go to a place you absolutely know nothing about, you know, but we trusted in the most high enough to know that he's not gonna send us somewhere that he's not gonna make provision. So, as we, oh, go ahead. How did you feel? Um, it felt unreal. Yeah. He had more faith than me. We all have a measure of faith. I didn't have as much as him. Um, wait, wait, wait. Thank you for sharing that, too. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. soak that in for a minute. Yeah. I didn't soak that in for a minute. <laughs> My brothers, y'all understand, you know, when the wife gives you your kudos, you got you to gotta take it in for a minute. I'm going to feed that ego real yeah. quick. <laughs> um. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Doing good. Yes, he had way more faith than me. Um, it was very hard for me as a wife, honestly, to put all my trust and him trusting that he's hearing clearly from the Most High, it was very hard for me. So um, my faith got tested a lot in that situation. And I come from a big family and we're very close. So that was hard. Pressing that button, I was like, dang, I can't believe we leaving. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So there was no turning back, huh? <laughs> it was no turning back. Guys, I wasn't going to waste no money. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That's a wife. That's a, wife. <laughs> that's a, that's a Hebrew wife. Yeah. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. I'm glad you actually trusted him. You know, even though it was hard. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. What were you about to say, brother? So, from there, the next step was, all right, we've got the passports, we've got the the tickets, and so we was like, now we just got to sell everything. And this is the funny part. We didn't end up selling everything until two weeks before we left. So we left June third, right. but we we got our tickets in March. March, and we had been trying to sell our stuff since March, and it wow. wasn't until two weeks before we left we ended up selling everything, right? <laughs> so y'all couldn't say nobody was hitting on anything. Right? No. Was it on Facebook Marketplace? All the marketplaces. All the marketplaces. It was on Craigslist. Dang. Uh, what was the other one? Let it go. Up. Yeah, offer, offer up. up. Nobody was was hitting us up oh. at all. And then, so we sold everything. So now you would think, wait a minute. You got a little bit of money. You got a little bit of money. And then out of nowhere, some things that had to get taken care of before we could leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, came up. And that, that money just said, bye-bye. <laughs> look, look, how, how, look, how Ice Cube do it? Bye, Felicia. <laughs> That's how our money did. Yeah. You know, so now we're sitting there like, what we going to do? Because... If you watch any YouTuber's video, they'll tell you, yes, the American dollar translates into a higher amount here, mm -hmm. but don't come over here with nothing. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. I just, disclaimer, yeah. do not come to Africa with nothing. <laughs> or do not come to Africa if Yah did not tell you. Yeah. I don't want nobody trying to say, oh, YouTuber said, come to Africa. No, we told you, if the Most High didn't tell you to move, Stay your behind home. Just stay. Okay? Just stay. Now let me get back. Okay. So <laughs> the money disappeared. Now we had like 20, 30 bucks. And the Most High said, I need you to go see your father in South Carolina and make amends with him. From where? We were in Atlanta. Mm. So, but at the same time, we had to drive down to Florida mm. so I could see my mom, my dad, my stepdad, and then go to see all of her family she's originally from you know beautiful sunny south florida <laughs> you know so we went down there saw all of her family left from florida went to south carolina went and saw my family that's there with 20 30 dollars wow <laughs> and to my stepping out on faith bro <laughs> hey listen when the most high say go you just go right and then we get there to south carolina visit um then we left there, went to uh, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So um, my wife's mom had passed and she was from Bridgeton, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And I had always promised my, uh, my wife that we would go back. So we got there, met up with her cousin who, here we go, here where the blessings really started coming. And first of all, like you said, $20, $30, we went from Atlanta down to Florida to South Carolina and then up to New Jersey. And we got there and her cousin was like, yo, I'm gonna put y'all in a hotel. So we had about four days before it was time for us to leave. He's like, I'm gonna put y'all in a hotel for four days. So he put us in the hotel. 
provided food for us and everything without asking. Without asking. And then we so we drove our car up there and we turned in our car. Uh -huh. Yeah, we turned in our to. car. <laughs> <laughs> and so then he drove us from New Jersey to DC wow. the day before our flight. He got us the um, another hotel room that night and set it up for the um, shuttle to take us to the airport. So then older cousin. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up. Man. So just oh. walk. <laughs> If he tell you to go, go. He's gonna make provision. He's gonna yeah. send somebody to be right where you're supposed to be to help you get to that next level. Just take yeah. a leap of faith, man. Yeah. That's it. So then we're sitting in the airport and we're actually praying. And we're like, we mm. going to Africa with no money. <laughs> and we're si and I'm sitting there and I'm actually saying to my wife, I'm like, now you know when we get there, because we ain't got no money. I said, Tim and Siobhan are probably gonna look at us and be like, what did we tell y'all? Did we tell What did we tell y'all? <laughs> and then the next thing I know, my cash app started ching, 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 ching. Money started coming to yeah. the cash app. At the airport. At, At the, the airport. airport. Mm. You know, um, and then mm. the rest is history. We yeah. here, baby. Yeah. We here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Karibu, Tanzania. Welcome to Africa. I tell them like every other day when it's something that he's like not accustomed to or used to. Like, bro, I had to deal with da da da. Welcome to yeah, Africa, okay. bro. That's how it is <laughs> over here, man. Just get adjusted, get adjusted. But yes, y'all, um, y'all came. How did y'all end up in a free house? Oh my goodness. So we were, um, we had a gathering, and a group of us here in the diaspora were having a Shabbat gathering. And um, was it a Shabbat gathering? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked yeah. about doing a fast. And we decided to go on a fast together. Three um, days. And there is a brother in the gathering. Um, we were talking about what gifts do we have and what things that we have to offer to each other to help each other. And he was like, well, I got a house. And um, it was like, okay. So another lady actually said, well, I need a house. We didn't say anything. We just sat there. And um, after the gathering, he came up to us and said, the most I told me to bless you guys with this house. And we were just like, what? <laughs> a whole house, y'all. Man. A whole house. And so, of course, I, I, I'm i never one to jump at anything. So my husband and I, we were like, okay, we're going to pray and ask the Most High if this is what he wants for us. It sounds great, but we didn't want to do something that the Most High did not want. Never be ashamed to have a Gideon moment. <laughs> so we actually prayed, and the Most High confirmed it with us. Um, every time I would pray and I was like, is most high, is this what you have? He was like, I told you I was going to provide for you. Mm. That's what I kept hearing. And so I was like, okay, most high. So we're in a brand new house before we left to come to Africa, because I didn't want to come originally. Um, I said, okay, most high, if you're sending us to Africa, I ask that you'll bless us with a brand new house. And I want to be close to the beach. <laughs> and the house is a brand new house. And it's a 15 minute walk from the beach. <laughs> And if you walk fast, you can get there in 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pray. that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. So how was it? Was it a, a, a rough transition in getting your own, getting y'all's own house in Africa? Like, how was it being living in America and getting a house here? No, it wasn't rough at all. Mm -hmm. um, you go through so much paperwork and yeah. red tape <laughs> in America to live anywhere they check your whole history from like the time you was born it's crazy but it's not like that here you know if you have the money to live somewhere you can live wherever and like i said because the most high sent us here everything just fell into place we didn't have to really do everything it was effortless hey, look. we got fruits all behind us here so what kind of tree is this this is a lime tree lime right tree. here got banana trees in the back got a uh, embe, that's mango, y'all. Mango. Tree, you know. It's pineapples growing over yeah, there. Yeah, pineapples growing over there. Got a papaya tree. Okra. <laughs> Okra's growing there. So y'all eating off the land. Yes. Don't have to pay that much money for food. No. And y'all got a house. Yep. So y'all also, your husband was telling me that it's your dream and it was your, <laughs> like your major dream in life to be built, to build parks for people or children. Um, not just parks and I can't say that it was my dream before we left America before I knew we were moving anywhere all of a sudden one day I was sitting and all these ideas just started 
flooding my mind, mm -hmm. building parks, building, you know, affordable houses, building all these things, building communities. And before y'all left? Before we left. Did y'all make the decision to come to Africa? Or it was Africa wasn't even No, it work. wasn't on the radar. We were looking to move to Belize. <laughs> <laughs> Way far from Africa. <laughs> so, and so all these ideas started coming to my head, and I didn't understand why, but I would tell my husband. Um, and then once we got here, and we looked around, and we were like, wait, there are no playgrounds here, you know? And I'm like, wait, there are beautiful houses here, but some of the locals, they can't afford to live in these beautiful houses. And I realized those visions and dreams that I was having was for here. The mm -hmm. Most High put them inside of me in the United States. So you've gotten the green light to build parks here, right? Yes, so we met with um, the local government in Dar es Salaam, or one of the local governments, and to get to Dar es Salaam, and we got the green lights to build on three of their um, plots there. And so we're in the paperwork stage right now, trying to get everything approved so we can go ahead and start building. Congratulations, y'all. That's, that's major. That's major. That's major. <laughs> of course, building a park is going to cost a lot of money. It's not something that you can just, you know, get metal and put it together and it just come easy. No, there have to be donations. There have to be people, manpower. Of course, we're going to help, too. He asked us to be a part of helping. Yeah. We're going to put our manpower into it. But our people need donations as well. You know, people, if we all came together and we put our funds together, we can help do, do way more. So can y'all tell the people y'all go find me so they can, and I'll attach it to the end of the description as well. For yeah. So you can give one or two ways. Uh, you can give via Cash App at dollar sign build TZ, or we do have a GoFundMe. It is Building Parks in Tanzania. So those are the two ways that you can be a part of this venture with us, and we thank you guys in advance yeah. for any help that you would like to provide towards what we're doing. So before we finish, what's the the ultimate goal with the parks and ultimately what y'all want to have y'all legacy be for being and coming here? So the goal of the parks is to provide um, something enjoyable for families here um, that's free because a lot of the things that are entertaining here, it costs. So for us, who have started to um, have businesses and different things like that, we have the funds. Um, for a lot of people coming from the States, they have the funds, but the locals don't. So they have to pay for every little thing. They can't afford it. So we want to provide outlets for the families here because those things are important to keep families together. When you're dealing with a lot of life, you need outlets to free your mind and to be able to enjoy one another. And so we want to create that type of environment here in Dar es Salaam and throughout all of Africa eventually. Mm -hmm. um, our legacy, we just want people to learn to love each other and to treat each other the way they want to be treated. Because if I were in the shoes of the people, I would want someone to be more about us than about money. Like my sister was saying, it's important that we come over here and focus on helping instead of like being to ourselves and not, you know, just spending money and not focusing helping these people out. That's why we've also joined together with Tao Ministries and we've been um, doing a Dry Bones project. So with the Dry Bones project, we're actually focusing on coming together with the locals and showing them that we are here to help. Like it's not, a lot of people come here and they want to take from the land and not give back to the land and not do anything for the people. That's the last thing on our mind. Like we literally came here to help build something together. So I admire and I'm, and I'm glad that y'all are actually coming over here and grabbing a hammer and doing something and really like trying to build. So kudos, kudos to y'all for doing that. Yeah. yeah. And y'all also have a cleaning business as well, right? Yeah. So tell us more about that. Yeah, you know, uh, one of the things you also told us was there's so many opportunities out here. And from day one, when we got here, we saw there's a lot of things that were needed mm -hmm. here that they didn't have here, you know. Um, and we all know they have dadas that you can hire to come, you know, to your house and everything. but there was nothing that was really organized mm -hmm. as far as cleaning services where you can hire someone to just come in once a week or uh, however many times you need them mm -hmm. and just clean the house thoroughly. And so my wife and I were talking and she used to work for Mary Maid. She was a manager for Mary Maid. Mary Maid. That's the, that's the company that drive around with all the Liberty cars, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was a manager for them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just drive a car. I 
didn't drive. I drove my own car. Oh, okay. I didn't want one of those. <laughs> you know, the, the managers get to drive their own yes, cars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I was like, you know what? We can do this. So just going back to the dry bones project mm-hmm. you know we are partnered with one of the local tanzanian brothers here brother good luck yeah you know yeah. thank we you all for the know introduction yeah. yeah we all know good luck you know we are partnered with him you know because he's just been such a help to us mm-hmm. and uh he he loves his people yeah. you know and yeah. we love that about him yeah. and he's very enthusiastic yeah. about doing stuff for the tanzanian people so it's like we on the same page so we might as well get together and do something yeah. so the three of us sat down we discussed how we were going to run this company so we are we are officially open now. Uh, Zion Services. Zion Services. Zion Congratulations. Services. Congratulations. Yeah, that's our cleaning business, Zion Services. Uh, we we clean houses. We do clean outs. We do commercials. Um, we're also in the near future here going to be opening up a garbage collection. And um, mm. not talking about just going and buying a little truck. I mean, we're going to get garbage trucks and everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's we, good. That's so. Good. That's good. And we want to make sure that we employ nothing but our local Tanzanian brothers and sisters yes. to be a part of this because it's actually all about them. Yeah. And us letting them know, look, we're one people. Yeah. We're, we're here with you. We love y'all. Y'all have embraced us. We want to embrace you back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Thank y'all for, man, being bold and stepping out and taking a risk, you know. As we can see, the sun is gone. So we have to wrap up the video, y'all. But y'all, please go to their platform stepping stones to home and show them love and you know subscribe and tune into their journey as well because i've noticed everyone has a piece of, of their story that can help everybody yes so you know we we're telling people we're showing y'all what it's like over here we're giving you different viewpoints we're giving you different things that you can do and if you need cleaning services and you're here already here's a company if you need your trash removed here's a company so reach out to Stepping Stones to Home if you have any questions, if you need any help with anything that you're doing over here. I'm sure they'll be more than willing to help y'all out. Yes, most definitely. So thank y'all for coming on. I thank appreciate it. Thank yeah, you for we having appreciate us. It. So any last words that y'all would like to say to anyone who's thinking about coming or, you know, on the fence? I'll let you go first. I would say trust the most high. Trust him and he won't lead you wrong. And when you get here, Remember, remember the two commandments that the Most High left us. Love Him and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll just throw in there, remember the Most High did not give any of us the spirit of fear. The enemy will come. The enemy will try to make you feel like Babylon is the place to be. But it's not. My people who hear my voice, he said, will come out of her. So please, if he's calling you and you hear his voice clearly, come out of her. Shalom, y'all. Shalom. And you, you heard it, plain and clear. If you got the call, leave. If you don't want to leave, that's on you. But it's wide open. So hey, the message is out. This is your voice. This is the trumpet. It's not gonna be like we thought. No, it's human beings telling you. It's time. It's time, y'all. Shalom. Shalom.